bittersweet for all of us. Tonight is Patrick Page's final performance with the company Page <laughs> One of my dearest friends for the past 12 years. Mm. Uh, we've done two Broadway shows together. Uh, I'd just like to say a couple words about him. Um, I'll just off the cuff. <laughs> but um, I remember one of our first rehearsals where we were directed in an improv uh, in character, and I quickly realized that I did not know the character well enough and was terrified by his depth of knowledge, which is what he does with every character. And he sets the Far high, and it's it's just a privilege to work with you, but really to be your friend, and to just to have you, your energy, your presence, your generosity, and uh, I, I'm gonna really miss you. I know we all are, and uh, yeah, I know I know that these are. Thank you. <laughs> to work and to make art. I want to say thank you to Rachel and to all of the creative team for creating such a beautiful piece of theater. And I know that when many of you came tonight, or when you go to any show, certainly any Broadway show, you invest a lot. You invest your time, all of this time, you, some of you have traveled long distances, you spend a lot of money, you get a babysitter, you go to dinner, all of this investment, but the investment, most of all that you make is the hope that you bring into the theater. The hope that maybe within these walls on any given night, on a night, something miraculous will happen that can only happen between those of us on stage and those of you in the audience. Yes, and sir. so you are absolutely part of what we do, and I have never felt that in my entire life more than I have with this show. You've taken this show to heart, you've made it part of your weddings, your anniversaries, your birthdays, your proposals, and uh, it just really touches my heart, and it makes me feel so fortunate to be part of something that's meaningful and good and entertaining. So have a wonderful Happy New Year. You can't get away that easy, Patrick. <laughs> I'll keep it brief, because I know it's almost the new year. But you are the last of the first. And also you're the first of many. So I'm first going to share a short message from Aeneas, our poet. Patrick! That's her voice. I'll never forget the first time we met. We sang Songbird together, and I was afraid I might not get through the Eurydice parts because I burst into laughter, <laughs> or tears, or both at once because your voice was so utterly thrilling and because I was in the presence of a king, our king. Wait, she goes on. She wrote a short play in two paragraphs. <laughs> you taught me so much over the years about Hades, his complexity and tenderness, but also about myth, humor, consistency, and also about vulnerability, about continually opening yourself to the perfection of the channel that you are and that we are all trying to be as artists. Rain on, Patrick. You are my king forever. Oh. So that's from Aeneas. And I'll be 
brief, um, but I will read because you make me nervous. Uh, and I just want to share there are two words that have been like swimming in my brain nonstop thinking about you. One of which is star, of course, because you are insane <laughs> and singular as we all are. Um, but you wear yourself really well. And I know that was hard earned. And I see it and it's amazing. But, but also I've been thinking about the word journeyman. And I guess I mean it less in the sense of pure reliability because you're completely unpredictable <laughs> in every way, which is reliable in a sense. Uh, I mean it more in the sense of a person of craft. You are this indefatigable, I think I'm saying that word right, craftsman, <laughs> who clearly never stops growing even when you've sat down for a while, as you've graced this show for many years. You took over your cor corner of this world, of Hades Town, and you've kept it very beautiful and very strange. You are this like mad scientist working in your corner and you kept the lights on even when it was really dark outside. Mm. And I moved to know you and have worked with you from the quiet Patrick, who this is true, sat in the back of the New York Theater Workshop rehearsal room on the third floor, quietly watching birds build a nest through our entire process and making announcements to the room when the mommy or the baby birds did something periodically. <laughs> To the Patrick who got astonishing new hearing aids when we were in London and suddenly wouldn't shut up. <laughs> to the Patrick who leaves us tonight. So thank you for all of it. Now go yell at some other gods. <laughs>